I'm George Faust. And I'm Madeline Adams. And this is Inside Cajun Nation. KLFY presents Inside Cajun Nation. Sponsored by Dudley DeBosier, official injury lawyers of the Louisiana Rage and Cajuns. Well, hi, hello, and welcome in to Inside Cajun Nation. This is our Cajun kickoff special as we get ready for the 2021 football season. I'm George Faust. And I'm Madeline Adams. We're going to look at the upcoming Cajun football team in tonight's program. Hey, learn how to help yes, the Cajun offense has seen unprecedented success during the Billy Napier era at UL. This season, the culture continues as the team will be led by fifth-year senior quarterback Levi Lewis, a player who's led this team for a couple of seasons now. And I think his ability to affect the other players, you know, I think that, um, you know, he, he's got a, a bank of knowledge, right? I mean, this guy's taken a million reps in the practice setting. He's played a lot of snaps in game settings. Uh, he works off the field as hard as any player I've ever coached. Um, and he's a he's a lifelong learner, right? He's still looking for an edge. I'll say just building like more team bond, you know, just getting to know my guys a lot better than I have in the past. You know, that that's been our big emphasis, um, getting to know our teammates a lot better. Uh, I think that's that's one of the biggest things that I feel like uh, I've improved on. One wouldn't think the offense would be in good shape after losing two all-conference running backs in Eli Mitchell and Trey Regas, both now in the NFL. It's 18 total touchdowns, but thanks to depth and recruiting, the backfield looks good. Chris Smith, T.J. Wisham will be the experienced. In addition to those guys, the Cajuns added six freshman running backs. Because you look at all of them and they're all doing something really well. Uh, you got Montreal from uh, New Orleans. He's really, really good tempo, being able to sit, uh, see the hole and hit it. You got uh, Dre uh, from uh, Hemphill, very, very, very strong, and he's he's faster, way, way faster than your typical guy at that size. You got Kendrell. Kendrell is a hard runner. Play speed is phenomenal. And um, Terrence, Terrence is big, strong downhill. He likes to run behind his pads. All of them are showing really good. Really good sports. The Cajuns can't run the ball without the big guys up front and the offensive line anchored by senior center Shane Vallow. He's ready for a strong season out of the line. In training camp, you know, we're kind of just working on ourselves right now. We're not worried about any other opponents. We're not looking forward to any opponent. We're not looking, you know, anything like that. We, we're just working on ourselves right now. And that's kind of the, the big goal is just to keep working on ourselves. We, we had a great camp. Um, I think Coach Navy said that it's probably one of the best camps since he's been here. And I, and I can say the same thing, man. Offense and defense, we competed every single day. Um, we got better every single day, I can say that. Uh, but the biggest thing right now is to keep improving on ourselves until it's time for game prep. The O-line's pass protection needs to hold up so the Cajuns' athletic wide receivers can make plays. That core led by Kyron Lacey, who had four touchdowns a year ago. And with the return of wideouts with a lot of snaps, these guys could be playmakers for the Cajuns in 2021. When you walk in the room, there are multiple guys at every spot that you can win football games with. They can play winning football for us and play at a really high level. Um, so then it's going to come down to day-to-day -day performance, day-to-day -day cons uh, consistency, and you know being accountable in every aspect of what we ask them to do, on the field and off the field. And the guys that do that are going to have an opportunity. The guys that don't will go to the back of the line. Going into year two with um, with a large receiver core, I go into it as a uh, positive mindset on on feeding the wealth and getting the guys the ball, you know, um, no matter who it is, who's out there, you know, just spreading the wealth and getting to know guys, like getting, getting to know my guys a lot better. This offense averaged 34 points a game last season, so this season there's no reason this year's offense can't put up some impressive numbers. Well, we've talked about the success under Coach Billy Napier in the past and currently. The Cajuns have a stellar 28-11 and 11 record. That's 72% winning record. That's impressive. And in the past two seasons, UL has lost just two regular season Sunbelt games under head coach Billy Napier, App State in 2019 and Coastal in 2020. Well, the Raging Cajun signal caller isn't just a leader on the field. He's been active in the community as well, even signing an NIL deal with Eat Lafayette. Yeah, for those efforts, he's been named to 
seven, that's right, seven preseason watch lists, the most for any Raging Cajun this year. The Baton Rouge native is on the Maxwell, Davey O'Brien, Manning, Goldarm, and Warfel Trophy watch list, along with the Senior Bowl Game and College Football Performer of the Year Award watch list. Of course, we're talking about Levi Lewis, QB1, on the verge of passing Jake DeLone for most career passing touchdowns and most career passing yards, as he is already holds those single season records. In typical Levi fashion, though, when reflecting on his accolades, he praises his teammates. The guys around me, you know, uh, it wouldn't happen, you know, without those guys. Uh, my O line, uh, I just commend those guys for doing their job. On my receiver core, you know, they're the ones really make the catches, make me look good. All I got to do is sit back there and you know, just throw the ball. You know, but I, I wish, you know, my line they could get more recognition. You know, more of my receivers. I know we have a large receiver core, and you know, I just wish more, more of my guys can, you know, get more recognition because they're the ones, you know, out there making the plays. I just sit sit back there in the clean pocket and you know just throw the ball. They make my job easy. Well, one of the guys Levi Lewis will be handing the ball off to is sophomore running back Chris Smith. Smith had a breakout season last year on special teams, becoming an All-American kick return. After the Raging Cajuns lost their top two backs, Elijah Mitchell and Trey Regis, to the NFL, in steps Smith to help carry on the tradition of talented running backs representing UL. They're expecting a lot of a lot out of us, especially since Trey and Eli gone. We've lost three uh, three good running backs the last couple of years, so. We're really going to have to step up a lot and just prepare for what uh, Coach going to put in front of us and know we can handle it. Smith was the number three running back in 2020. The Mississippi native enters the 2021 campaign as the most experienced back. I got to set the example. I got to be the guy. So I'm really just locking in more of my playbook, more watching film, and just getting more prepared for uh, what I got to handle. When asked about his goals for this year, Smith says he wants to win a championship for the first time in his career. I know everybody's goal is to get to the next level. But for me now, I haven't won a state championship or uh, really a Sunbelt championship, Sunbelt championship officially. So, like I said, the goal for me just to get one uh, get UL a, a Sunbelt championship this year. One of the keys to success is having good team chemistry, and Smith says the young running back room is supportive of each other. We're family. We're all tied together. We always together talking, meeting, going out to eat together. So that building us closer as a family, as a teammate, as a brother. So really. Like I said, us being brothers and teammates, bond each and every day, that's helped us out a lot to stay together. Coming up next on Inside Cajun Nation, Cajun Kickoff 2021, we hear from some of the key players on the defensive side of the ball. Now, experience is something talked about a lot with this team, and the defense has a lot of that. We'll talk about it next on Inside Cajun Nation's Louisiana Football Special. This portion of Cajun Nation is brought to you by Lafayette Coca-Cola Bottling. 